that came out lower than forecast. What do you make of the numbers? Well, it just shows us, and good morning, Kathy, a, a softening across that whole China basin. Uh, it's not surprising. And when you think about what's um, as far as global demand, that seems to be softening. And of course, with Europe in the in the position that it's been in, and it's just protracted, you know, slowness to a point of nearly negative growth across the whole, you know, the whole zone. It's not it's not uh, it's not surprising. And uh, I think that there could be a further softening over the coming months, uh, and continue with this downbeat. I, I, I'm looking for where we're going to see the growth. And uh, it seems to be very, very soft, certainly soft in Australia and uh, I think across pretty much most of the world at the moment. So, uh, yeah, quite, quite normal and I think it just had to happen. We had, you know, huge growth over for many, many years and it's just a realisation that you just can't keep on going. What are the implications for policies in China? I don't know. That's a, that, see, when you, when you delve into shadow banking and, you, and, and the whole framework around it, it's very, very hard to curtail. And, you know, it's a, it's a structural shift that needs to come from the top down, but also from the bottom up. And people need to appreciate it and understand what the, what the regulatory um, uh, compliance issues regarding it. Uh, you know, that, it's, that's just, it seems to be a very much a, um, uh, a state of play how they do things and until you change the way people do things then you're always going to be uh, you've always got these issues at hand and I think that the 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 it's paramount to um, you know try and drive change but I don't think it's going to be that easy I, you know a lot of people are still punting on property prices and uh, it just seems to be the state of play Kathy. How should investors position on a slow growth China? Well, that's very difficult. I mean, you know, you have a look at currencies associated with it and, and uh, commodity-based currencies. You have a look at, you know, demand on the demand side. Uh, I think you probably have to look at maybe energy resources, healthcare, those sides. Uh, certainly, you know, from an energy side, uh, you've got that growing demand there in automobiles and across you know, aerospace and, and technologies. Uh, I, I think you really have to be focused along that sort of, uh, that mindset. I'm sure with uh, you know the ongoing demand across uh, from gasoline and of course distillates, I think you're going to see more demand through the natural gas space, and uh, you know they've certainly got major issues over there, of course with pollution and so on. So maybe you've got to look at uh, across those sort of uh, technologies.